Everybody, this is Perch. Uh, this isn't a, a letter or a mail I got, uh, but it is a question I get asked a lot. And it's kind of always posed in the way of, don't you think? Like, don't you think, Perch, that, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's always like, it's, it doesn't feel like a question as much as people wanting me to agree with them. And, and in many cases, I do. I just, I always kind of, I don't love, I don't like questions being posed that way. It always feels like a, of being conned into something to some extent. But anyway, so the, the question basically goes like this. It's, it's don't you think that comic creators uh, who are out there in the public, um, in this case, the public means the virtual square, the, the Twitters and the Facebooks and everything else, don't know this is not a video about Twitter. Uh, but don't you think that they should keep their opinions to themselves? Don't you think they should focus on, you know, selling the comics and, and, uh, and kind of that whole environment and not get involved in what their politics are, what their feelings are on abortion, all that kind of stuff. Don't you think they should stick to the business? And, you know, so I, I've turned around a lot because I, I, I don't agree with that. I think the people who come on, they have a right to have their own opinions and everything else. But I also think that we, we think too hard about this stuff. I think it's very possible to have your own opinion, to have your own point of view, and to talk about your point of view without, uh, you know, going to war with other people without making it uncomfortable for your customers. So let's let's take the language away that often gets done in these videos of like creators fighting fans or you know creators going to war against their fans and that kind of stuff and just just put it in simpler terms. Think about like a business. Think about going into your local fast food place, a furniture store, doctor's office, etc. The goal of say a doctor is that when you go in they're going to treat you, they're going to look at your illness and you want to have confidence that that person treating you is going to do the same job, whether you're a Democrat or whether you're a Republican, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, whether you, I, I don't know, whether you're a furry or whether you're a normal person, whatever it happens. You know, so you want to, the belief that the doctor is going to treat you the same. And you also I kind of want to have the, the, the confidence. Now, a lot of people who are nervous about being treated differently uh, we'll keep things quiet. And this is, you know, like the entire civil rights, well, less, less civil rights, but more, you know, people who were gay, for example, used to be concerned that if they went into the doctor and they said, I am gay, that the doctor would be like, ooh, and they wouldn't get treated as well. And in some cases, they're probably right. I think there there probably were instances where they weren't treated the same and, and where, you know, they, they might get inferior care or, you know, during the AIDS epidemic, there was, you know, they were, they'd be just treated differently. I'm sure that there, there was, but you know, it, that we've moved on to a different time where generally speaking, if you walk into a, a hospital, it's a reasonable expectation. If you're gay, for example, is just, you know, say, Hey, uh, I'm gay. And for the doctor to be like, all right, well, I'm still going to treat you the same. I, I mean, no difference whether you're gay, straight, asexual, all those things, you get treated the same. I think that's a reasonable expectation of a doctor. So why do I bring all this stuff up? Well, you know, comics are first of all, not medical. And so it's not life and death, but I do think there's a reasonable expectation, not a law, not a rule, but a reasonable expectation that if you're a customer and you like Biden or you like Trump, uh, that you are treated the same, that, that you are treated equally. Um, there are some people, I think, who would love to be treated better based on one of those. I, I, I'm, there's always somebody who wants preferential treatment. But by and large, the vast majority, I think, just want to be treated the same. If you were to, uh, you know, go up to a creator at a signing table, uh, you were going. Let me. Uh, you were. You were able. You were going up. Oh, I'll give you a perfect example. You've got a comic in hand. You're going up to get that signed by Philip Kennedy Johnson. My feeling is that if you put the comic on the table, Superman comic there, Action Comics, um, that if you were wearing a, you know, Biden 2024 shirt, or you're wearing a Make America Great Again cap, my impression a strong hunch is that you would be treated the same. You'd get the same signature. You'd get the same, you know, commentary. You, if, if, and I don't know, I, I don't know the politics of Philip Kennedy Johnson. That's kind of the point in a way, but if Philip Kennedy Johnson came up to you and said, uh, or, you know, if you knew he was a Democrat, you get the feeling like he would not treat you poorly. If you're wearing a MAGA hat, he would just sign your comic because that's what he's there to do, and you'd move on. I think that there's a reasonable expectation that that's how you'd be treated. Taking a step further, I do believe, now I'm not sure, by the way, but I, I believe that, you know, you, I've, I've had uh, Jim Zub on the show a few times. He's a nice guy. Definitely have a crush on Jim on, on Zub. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
Uh, but Zub, uh, I think, leans left. Is I think it's it would be fair to say, or is I, I don't I, I just I think that that vaguely came up, but it wasn't a big topic. But I'm I'm quite certain that if I went up and I was wearing a you know Ted Cruz 2024 shirt now in Zub's head, and I'm guessing here, he may be thinking who would vote for that idiot, but he would not say that out loud, nor would he you know, not sign my whatever I was getting signed, nor would he, you know, say, get out of my line, or I'm going to serve all the other people first, you get the feeling like he treats you equally, treats you fairly. To me, I think that's a reasonable expectation to have. And I think that's where the line's drawn. I, I don't mind if a creator, and I, I think it's it's reasonable for creators to be able to go on to Twitter, go on to Facebook, and, and post I'm voting for Biden next. Next, I, I think it's really important. Biden's the better candidate. Blah 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 blah. I think it's reasonable for a, a creator to say things like that. Just saying it's reasonable for a creator to say I'm voting for Trump for the well, same reasons. I think it's reasonable for a creator who is very concerned about uh, abortion because that's in the news right now to say you know the striking down Roe versus Wade would be a a, a deadly blow for you know women's rights, and I I strongly oppose you know, the removal of Roe Wade. I think it's reasonable for a creator to say that. Now, I think if the creator took it the extra sentence and said, and anyone who feels otherwise can burn in hell, screw it, don't follow me right now. I don't want to hear from you and I think you're an idiot and I will kick you in the face if I see you. If they add that extra piece, that takes it away from a reasonable expression of, you know, of what people, of, of opinion into something else that's to me where I draw the line. And that's, that's where I, I think a reasonable expectation can sit. Now, absolutely. Some creators do, whether it's the, will I will remember who voted for the person we don't like that, those kinds of sinister type comments or whatever it happened to be. Uh, the, the funny part is I've talked to lots and lots of creators, editors, people within comics, lots. And I would say, and, and I know people are going to disagree with this in the comments, the majority of people I've talked to believe the same that, you know, it's, it's right. You know, it's perfectly reasonable to say that uh, you believe a certain way or you have certain things, you opinion, and even argue for those things aggressively, but not turn around and attack the person that you're arguing against. And that's, that's not, that, that is possible to do, but most creators I've talked to share that same belief. Most creators I've talked to say, yeah, that, that comment of like, we'll remember who voted Trump was, uh, felt was, was wrong. It was icky. It was wrong. Now, some people, because I see these males as well say, well, it's not enough to just say it's wrong. You have to say it publicly. You have to denounce it. You have to do, and that sounds good, but, uh, that's not the industry we work in. And I, I, you, you could say that's not brave. You could say it's cowardly. You could say whatever. I mean, you could say anything you want about it, but at the end of the day, if people believe that speaking up would, you know, prevent them from getting work, basically, in effect, kick them out of the industry. And right now, the power of who gets hired as a creator is largely up to the editors. And if the editors are saying this kind of stuff, then the creators do have a dilemma. They're basically choosing between getting work and not getting work. And it's all well and good to say, ah, take the chance. Who needs Marvel anyway? A sinking ship. Come on. Screw it. Do, your, do, a, book, do a book on Kickstarter. It'll be fine. It's, it's okay to say that, but I mean, that's not your choice to make. That's the choice of every individual creator, every individual person who's in that position to say, you know, do I really want to make trouble for myself or not? Because in a weird way, if that creator jumps into the fray and starts saying, you know, that is not of that, I, I, am a, I think that's the wrong thing to say, then suddenly they're wrapped up in it. And the general, you know, standard of, of living, the general rule has been, hey, Mind your own business about the things that are your business. So that it, 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 I'm not again. It's 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 a complex situation. It is more complex than somebody posting a comment on a YouTube video or somebody who's quickly doing a 10 minute outrage video uh, would would say. It's it it is it is complicated. So then that's why I say I, I back it down to the core fundamentals. For me, the rules that I make for myself, the rules that I I you know I, if I was if I was in charge of DC or Marvel, the rule I would make is express your opinion, talk about the things you want, but do so in a way that does not make you know your customer feel uncomfortable, just like a doctor shouldn't make their patient feel uncomfortable. 
I, I think that that's reasonable. I think that's a reasonable ask. And again, I think that people get too much into the, but what if kind of comments and they, they forget that that standard is pretty easy to accomplish. There are creators who do that. How hard would it be? And, and, and be honest with yourselves. If a creator said, you know, like, let, let's take, uh, I don't want to use an example. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm trying to pull somebody. Let's say Chip Zdarsky. Okay. Let's say Chip Zdarsky is, is uh, on Twitter. And Zdarsky says, um, uh, this November, I'm voting for Democrats because Democrats are what I believe is the right answer for this. one doesn't work, of course, because he's up there in Canada. But you, you, OK, and this I've screwed up entirely. All right. Kelly Thompson. We'll go with Kelly Thompson. Let's say Kelly Thompson says this November, I'm voting for Democrats. To me, Democrats best represent who I am and what I'm about. And I am hopeful that the Democrats can hold on to their majorities. And so that's why I'm voting Democrat. They, they align with my values. Okay, let's say that that was the tweet. Not a very exciting tweet, but let's say that was the tweet. How many of you get offended by that? Be honest. Because several people have taken the stance of, well, Kelly Thompson shouldn't be allowed to do that because she works for a company and then that's that's espousing a political belief. But let's let's look at that again. I, I have no problem with that tweet. That's saying this is the choice I'm making for myself. Now, if that, again, if that tweet included an extra little line that said something along the lines of, if you buy my comics and you don't believe what I believe, then fuck you. Okay, that's too far. I think it's that easy. I really do. That's all that I ask from people. So when I get these mails like, don't you think creators should, don't you think all creators should uh, never talk about anything but comic books? No, not really. I, I, I'm, I, I think, you know, it's, it's their space. Let, them, let, let people say their opinions. I just would like to see the rule in place that you can say your opinions without making your audience uncomfortable. And so that's the standard I'd like them to be held by. Just don't make your audience feel like, you know, you're, you're angry with them at war with them. Now, the, the problem with Facebook and Twitter and all these platforms is they're entire, you know, if Kelly Thompson, you know, wrote that imaginary tweet, wrote that statement, it's not going to get a lot of likes. It's not going to get a lot of upvotes. It's not going to get a lot of people engaging with it because it's not spicy. It's not, you know, telling somebody off. It's why people will go on there and say, CG is trash. Just your daily reminder. That's, that's more emotional. That's more, that's trying to hook people in with a, I mean, it's trying to get attention. I mean, imagine somebody posting a very benign milk toast tweet of, um, I've looked at some of the CG books. I don't agree with how some of the people behave. I wish them success, but it's not for me. Eh. Would that be a problem? Again, some people would definitely get in there and want to poke at that to get a fight going. But I, I, I have to believe that those, for me, those kinds of comments is like, I'm stating an opinion. I'm not attacking anyone. This is just what I'm doing. This is, you know, I, I, by the way, I take it a step further to say, why are you, you know, live streaming your life on Twitter in the first place? Maybe nobody cares about your opinions, but that, you know, would be that as it may. I think that the nice standard would be, again, the standard that, that you would see in a doctor, the standard you would see. And, and, and by the way, if you go to Target, and, uh, you know, I, I go to Target from time to time, I talk, and I had the conversation, there was somebody who was chatty while we were waiting for, you know, a, a TV component to come out of the back, and it was like taking 10 minutes. I was like, hey, how's it, what's it like working here? What are you going to do? Do you guys, you know, you know how's, how's your social media policy? Because I'm curious. And, uh, the, you know, the social media policy of Target is basically, you know, you're not supposed to tweet about Target if you work at Target. Um, but, you know, people will recognize you and it's possible people connect it because that's happened before. And so, you know, don't make the customers feel unwelcome. That's the rule. Fairly vague rule, but also pretty on the nose. Don't make the customers feel unwelcome. Now, there's, there's, again, there's limits to that. If, if somebody says, I am a Democrat and I support Democrats, if that makes you feel unwelcome, yeah, you're, you're, you're too sensitive, bluntly. Because that, that's, that shouldn't be something that makes you feel unwelcome. Now, if you, again, if you add to that, say, I'm a Democrat, that's what I like, and anyone who feels otherwise should be burned alive and you're a bunch of Nazis. See, that's, that's again, that extra step that makes people feel unwelcome. To me, this entire topic has gotten way too complicated, and you can just boil it down to something a lot more simple to say, hey, if you work for our company, certainly, you know, you're certainly, uh, to, you have the rights to go out and 
you know, put pronouns in there and put flags in there if you want to support Ukraine and talk about any issue, talk about your support for abortion, whatever you want to do. But don't go at fans. Don't make them feel unwelcome. The end. And there's no buts. The problem is everybody's like, but, 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 but wait a minute. What if the fan's a Nazi? It's like, you know what? Then call the police. Because, uh, you know, there's still, you know, <laughs> war crimes and, and laws against that in many countries. Um, if, it, 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 make it simple for yourself. I, stop, I think people always want to look to the exceptions. It's like, basically, they look to the exceptions because they, they really want, at the end of the day, permission to be an asshole. It's, hey, um, you know, I, uh, I, I, yeah, I won't make the customer feel unwelcome, but what if the customer is a, is a white supremacist and they, you know, I, 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 I learned that they burn crosses on their lawn and they talk about reinstituting slavery. You know, I, I feel morally obligated to call them out on that. It's like, you know what? Here's the thing. When that specific situation occurs, come on back to uh, old HR and we'll, we'll advise you from there. But you, you go in, you just let, you, here's, my, here's my number. When you encounter said, you know, white supremacist burning crosses uh, and, and wanting, you know, pushing for, you know, reinstating slavery. When you encounter that person, you give me a call, we'll advise you what to do on Twitter. But until that point, stick with the original rule. Don't make people uncomfortable. Yeah, there, there you go. I don't know. Uh, but you know, several of you have asked. That, that's my general stance on it. No, I don't. I don't want a police conversation off Twitter. I just want people to, you know, try not to make life shitty for other people. I know. I, cra- <laughs> crazy thought. Thanks for listening.